So, is there a difference between the $30 residential light package and the $50 residential package? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and a happy new year. Now, for most countries in the global south, Zimbabwe included, Starlink is offering the residential light package for $30 a month. This is a perfect budget option for those who cannot afford the $50 standard residential package. You will still get unlimited data though. On the Starlink website, it says that the residential light package is supposed to give users speeds that are between 50 and 100 megabits per second, with no speed and data caps. But the connection will be deprioritized, meaning that when the network is congested, the residential light package is likely to experience slower speeds as compared to the residential package. But how does that really translate into the real world? I tested both packages and this is what I found out. Now when it comes to basic browsing or social media, you won't feel much of a difference. But when it comes to video playback and streaming, that's when you can feel the difference between the two packages. On the residential package, when I play a 4K video on YouTube, it automatically plays in 4K 90% of the time, regardless of time. On the residential light package, it automatically plays in HD most of the time. The only time it may be guaranteed to play 4K automatically is at night when there's no congestion. My experience when it comes to gaming is similar for both packages. It's not great, the latencies are bad for both packages, but funny enough, I experienced better latencies on the residential light package. It's just by chance, I assume. Not that this is shocking at all, but when it comes to speed tests, the residential package has on average better speeds as compared to the residential light package. But depending on the time of day, I still get speeds well in excess of 200 megabits per second on the light package. Now, after using both packages, this is my verdict. If you have a small family and maybe you have devices less than five connecting to the internet, then you will not be disappointed with the residential light package. But anything more than that, I would definitely recommend you to go to the residential package, which can cater for more people as opposed to the residential light. Even if you're running a small business from home as well, I'll definitely steer you towards the residential package. One thing to note with the residential light package is that you are not able to buy priority data as well as roaming. Now, if you start out using the residential light package, you will not feel any disadvantage because you have nothing to compare it to. But if you use the standard residential package and go to the residential light package, you will definitely feel the difference. But in my opinion, you know what? Save yourself $20. The experience is pretty much negligible. You can do with either. If you have money and you afford the residential package, go ahead and do that. But the advantages are minimal in my opinion, unless maybe you have a large number of people using that internet. But for most cases, or especially in Zimbabwe, I would probably steer you towards the residential light package in this regard. So if you're a smaller household, definitely go the residential light package. But if you have a larger household and your internet demands are pretty much high, because with the residential package, the advantage is during peak hours. Uh, when I was using the residential package, I never used to have so much hassles like I'm getting right now when I'm testing out this residential light package. So if you're a business or you have a large family, because when many devices are connected to it, that's when you start seeing some problems. But if you're just a few people connected to the internet, the residential light package is perfect for you. Anyway, I can continue ranting about this too. If you have any questions regarding these packages that I've uncovered, leave it down in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year, guys.